But anyway, I want to say uh, to all new people, welcome. I hope that you uh, are enjoying and uh, enjoying the videos and the streams and everything. I'm Jay Kelton, and we're streaming through all the Final Fantasy XIV uh, content. We're working through Endwalker right now. It's really, really awesome. Really, really crazy cool story. Um, I started doing all of the YouTube cuts uh, just as a different way of being able to consume rather than four hour streams. Um, you can get a little bit more of a chopped up version. So for a bunch of people who have subscribed and joined, I hope that you're enjoying those. They're a lot of fun and uh, fortunately not a huge investment of time to be able to make. So let's continue the MSQ. I fear this discussion may take a while. Uh, during which time, we get to hang out with Meteon again! Meteon, are you feeling unwell? It's not Hermes, it's you. I won't go to the meeting. I'll stay with Jake. Low though I am to impose, may I leave Meteon in your care again? We can watch out for her. We will protect her at all costs. I'm in your debt. If you'll excuse me. Can we, can we bring her back to our timeline, please? She needs to be the Scion's mascot. Uh, <laughs> I know we, we talked about Lalaki being the mascot, but Lalaki is the guild's mascot, so instead, uh, Meteon will have to be the, the Scion's mascot. Can you help me with something, Jake? The meeting will make Hermes sad. I want to cheer him up with a flower. Hermes likes flowers the most of all the creations in Elpis. Most creations are expected to be interesting or beautiful or strong, better in some way. But flowers are different. They're designed to suit our emotions, what we feel and want to convey. Hermes likes that. I can't make flowers, so I'll search for one. And I want you to search with me. Let's start here, at the Twelve Wonders. Yay, Medion is accompanying you. Remember, they're having a discussion inside about what to do about the super monster uh, that was going around killing other creations and they're like nope we can't we can't have that that's not gonna that's not gonna do so we don't know what that creature looks like and what kind of um oh wait there's flowers over here is there in the middle ah here we go tree in bloom yeah we don't know what's going on with that creature um but it definitely sounds very very dangerous i wonder if we fought it before if it's uh if the creation is ifrit it's like no <laughs> Don't create it whatsoever. Vibrant purple flowers, bigger than your hands, adorn the tree. Oh, it's so big and bright. I love them. But they might be too bright. You have to think of the recipient. That's what Hermes said. Okay, so that's they're too too bright and pretty. We need something a little more a little more simple. I don't know why we're gonna look at this slender tree. It doesn't exactly have uh, flowers uh, on it. It's got nice color leaves, but no, no flowers, so. Polo's voice didn't show up in previous streams. Uh, we can work on fixing that right now. Let me see. Oh, I bet I know why. Polo, say something real quick. Test, test, one, two, one, two. There you go. You should be coming through now. Yeah, so when, uh, between streams, um, I sometimes do other video stuff when necessary, and I mute things, but, um, it was good to know that uh, I need to unmute that particular one. I might actually, I'll do it after the stream, but I'll rename it to make sure that I know that this is Holo's mic. So, welcome, Holo. For those of you who are new here, uh, Holo is uh, our co-pilot through the entire uh, Final Fantasy XIV journey. They've been here since the very, very beginning, practically like Lalaki. Um, <laughs> so it's great. If you, hear, if you hear a mysterious voice in the background, that's Holo. A tall, slender tree rises before you. You crane your neck to look for flowers. No flowers. If there were apples, we could have covered them in syrup. Let's head outside next. Don't worry, we won't wander far. I guess, yeah, we were checking out the tops of the tree. If we could fly here, it would make it a lot easier. Beyond, could we borrow one of these flying horses real quick? <laughs> Be able to check these flowers a lot faster. This bush not to your liking, Medium? All right. I wonder if uh, if anyone would have a problem if we just stole some flowers here, right? Let's grab it. An array of beautiful flowers grow in the bed. They are a mix of colors forming a pattern. These would be better for Hermes, but they're hinged in. That means we shouldn't touch them. They're either under observation or poisonous. Any other place should be fine, though. Let's keep looking. 
shove harsh into the poisonous flowers. <laughs> uh, I was also looking at it and I was like, this definitely looks like some arena that we've fought in before. And, uh, you know, you have, you have to make sure that you go to the right side. This purple is probably the attack, right? The, the attacks are out that side, so you gotta stand in the middle where it's safe. Alright, so, these are cool, though. Very pretty. Oh, this flower's over here. So, not the henged-in flowers. Oh, this is uh, a familiar plant. <laughs> We've seen these guys before. These are a little too uh, dangerous. You just stick your face in there. <laughs> yeah, it's chew it's a face hugger. <laughs> chew it on me. <laughs> no, thank you. Set on a tall, thin stalk, the oddly shaped flower is mesmerizing in its undulations. Oh, a conion, a flower that can move. When Hermes wasn't looking, it shot seeds at him. Not a good gift, maybe. But you're good, Jake, at spotting flowers. We'll find something soon. Do 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 uh, Hello, the scenes in OBS definitely are great, and I use them a lot. Except the audio, if you mute in one audio scene, it mutes it for all of the scenes. So I actually need to create separate profiles, and that way, I, for whatever it is that I'm recording. I have a profile for uh, Final Fantasy XIV that has audio stuff unmuted, and then a profile that has it muted. So I'll just work on that. Uh, also, Lalaki and Harsh and some of y'all Justana are are super OGs. Have been around here for forever. Is there anything new that you can talk? You're good at observing, just like an observer. <laughs> We're doing the observer's job for them. I don't see many flowers. There's a bush here, but you find nothing promising nearby. At best, common-looking grasses with some few tiny flowers. Nothing around here. Oh, over there, Jake. Something big. Huge. Oh, over here? Oh, goodness. Not that thing. Oh, that's, uh... <laughs> if we were going to be eaten before, we're definitely going to get eaten this time. <gasps> oh, uh, excuse me, Tian. We're going to come back to this flower in just one second. There is a, uh, a current here that we're going to check out real quick. We must have missed this last time we came through here because I think it was over here that we were talking to the Chardabis? Chardabis? And um, I guess we were looking out rather than inward. Or maybe this is a new area and we just haven't been here before. Twelve Wonders. All right, Mr. Flower with your very purpley lips. It is a little bit of a different design, I think, with all of these little, like, mustache hairs sticking out. Maladorous grass. Mal is definitely right. Bad. A terrible stench reminiscent of sodden old boots pervades the air. Without a doubt, the culprit is the morbid-like creature before you. That's a... Adonis. The things around its mouth look like petals, but the flowers are the orbs on its head. When Hermes inspected it, it swallowed him up. He didn't leave his room for days. What do you think, Jake? Would he like it? Probably not. <laughs> it's probably not the good sort of memory. <laughs> and I also would rather not go near that thing. Definitely would get eaten. So not this one either. Finding a good flower, it's harder than I thought. I'm sorry, Jake, but could we search a little more? Maybe as far as the fields over there? I'll pick something after that. I promise. All right, so we're going the yeah, this way, looking at the different fields. So these are too bright. The blues are probably too small. What are the moths collecting around? I think we need to find those emotional flowers, right? The Elpis flowers? Where was that? That was back at the other part of the island. Lush fields. Lots of little flowers, that's for sure. Lush green fields stretch before your eyes, ending where the sky begins. Or the edge of the cliff over there. Aw, there's nothing. Hmm? The shiny thing over there? What could it be? Shiny object? <gasps> is it an Elpis flower? It is. 
the rare, the legendary. We need to pick one for ourselves. Remember, we have to replace the one that Heidelin gave us. We need, we need one. I hear there's the legendary Owen hanging around here. The Charmed Abyss was a different area. Okay, so similar, but different. Oh, Alpis flowers. They're here too. Hermes likes and dislikes them at the same time. Like me, they're Antelekis. Like me, they feel his pain and turn black. That's only for Hermes, though. For others, they're always white and bright. So why is Hermes feeling emotionally black? All the time. Have you never seen them blue or yellow? We've seen them a couple different colors. Truly? The flower was dark in your home? Then do you have it too? A dark emotion? It was kind of gray when we had it. I've known the pain and sorrow of loss. I felt great fury and frustration. I've been plagued with doubt and anxiety. I dare say I have a few. Hmm... Pain and sorrow of loss, great fury and frustration, plagued with doubt and anxiety. I think pain of sorrow and loss, that definitely would be, I relate more to that than any of the other ones for for this story, especially for the, the those we've lost and those we can yet save. I think that works the best. But the second best option I think there is, I dare say I've had a few, because it's just kind of all encompassing. I've, I've been around the block. I see. Hermes has known the same. The feeling that a part of you is gone. Again and again, but no one notices. Please, Jake, won't you lend it to me? Your pain and sorrow? I want you to make the flower dark in front of Hermes. Oh, so he knows he's not alone. He has been in a dark place since before he created me. He needs to know that he isn't there alone, that others are sad too. That's actually a really interesting way of being comforting, as it could be extremely comforting to know that you're not alone. Truly, you'll do it. The others kind of feel the same thing that you felt before. Thank you, Jake. That means more to me than I can say. I can't wait to see how Hermes reacts. Let's go back and fetch him. You still didn't pick the flower. Grab the flower. We got to give Lelina a hug real quick. In your individual green Asian robes. Hello, Lavava. Oh, didn't want the flower to wilt? I guess that makes sense. I mean, in our hands, it definitely will wilt. We've already proven to be a terrible caretaker. Uh, excuse you. No, we're not interested in fighting. Thank you very much. We're gonna walk through the poisonous flowers. Are you gonna follow? I didn't think so. <laughs> The poisonous flowers are too much. Boing, boing. This is why you should be a Viera. You get height privileges, or like jumping privileges. It seems they're still talking. Let's wait until they finished. That was another fun excursion. Brooding. Oh, you were waiting for me. Not for long. You finished talking? Yes, we've come to a decision. My thanks for keeping me to your company. Emmet Selk and Hithledeus have already retired to their rooms. There is room for you too, if you would follow me. Oh, we get a room here? Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, she brought them over to the flowers. Elpis flowers? Go on. Are we going to pluck one now? 
or just feel our emotion near the flowers. Whoa! Okay, the purple into gray was kind of cool. You're not the only one, Hermes. Others feel sad too. You're not alone. I see Mision has shared much with you. At least this time we didn't kill the flowers. <laughs> Imagine if they just all wilted, turned black, and died. <laughs> like, you just faded into ash. You're like, no! <gasps> it's taking the mask off. Literally and figuratively. Emotionally. May we talk a moment? Got some cool eyes. They all have cool eyes. They got special eye designs. Hedgehog! I think you can get that as a minion. I do not think it wrong that we live for the star. That we strive to make it a better place. And yet, in carrying out my duties here, there are times when I am plagued by doubt. Do you recall what Hithlidae said? When we first spoke of my nomination, death is the privilege of those who have fulfilled their purpose, a choice they embrace of their own free will. And when they depart, it is always beautiful. Perhaps it is, but only for man. Creations that he deems useless are discarded with nary a second thought. Mm. Some scarcely born into the world, afforded a handful of breaths before life and potential are abruptly extinguished. Got it. The, yeah, it's it's frustrating that not every animal or creation is celebrated and seen as a beautiful thing. We make an effort to spare them the pain. They sense what awaits. Rage and anguish and cower and fear. And it is not beautiful. Yet no one cares. No one. Some Except you. Are we upon the duty that we do not pause to question the method? <laughs> it's kind of an alternate version of scientists kept asking if we could, not if we should. Pain and suffering, confusion and despair, writ plain in the eyes of those poor creatures. Yet no one sees. We turn a blind eye and carry on in blissful ignorance. Not to miss. And always, always the blossoms shine pure and white. A contradiction so blatant I could scream, want to scream. How can you all accept this aberration? And I wonder, am I the aberration for thinking thus? I'm filled with dread. The weird one. But now I know I'm not alone. Not the only one for whom the flowers weep. Hmm. I won't ask what you thought as you kneeled beside the Alpis. Or if you only did it at Meteon's insistence. Nevertheless, I thank you. To know that you too have experienced suffering is a comfort. It's good to know that you're not alone. <laughs> Back in 2020, Holo, and everything was uh, way too much. <laughs> oh, I could tell you all about suffering. Well, let me tell you. All right, I'm not even going to start. <laughs> Let's have no more brooding, eh? Glad I could be of service. Hmm. That almost comes across as sarcastic. I'm glad I could be of service. Um, let's have no more brooding, eh? For Meteon's sake. Indeed. Difficult though it may be, I must endeavor to be strong like you. No. No, you got your own strength. stars in the heavens know you what they are 
balls of gas and fire. Though it is too far to tell, each glittering light could be a world not unlike Aetheris. A world filled with life. So many stars, so many lives. For us, there may be no higher purpose than to live for our world. But what of the other living beings out there? What is it that gives their lives meaning? That drives them day after day after day? So much philosophy Tell in a video game. To our undiscovered cousins. I created beings of dynamis who can traverse the vast emptiness between the stars. Meteon and her sisters. Sister? So there's more. That's cool. Which means that it's possible that we could run into them in the future. Hi, sisters. So cute. Many of them. And they have already departed on their journey. Traveling to one star and then the next in search of life. That's crazy. Exploration on such a grand scale is rife with difficulties. And thus far, I've naught to show for it. But I have faith that we will make some manner of discovery ere long. I wonder if the other, like, the first reflections are out there. Share our findings with you in gratitude for your kindness. Like, I wonder if the reflections are in the same, like, universe that we're in. And so there's just multiple planets and, and stars in the same, you know, theoretically universe. Um, or if it's actually traveling to like multiversal dimensions. So no matter how far you go out in this one universe, you'll never run into the other reflections because they're their own reflection of the universe. Both of those could be options. It's getting rather late. We had best find our beds. It would not do for both of us to be sleep deprived on the morrow. Come, Meteon. Let us head back. Doesn't seem that dark, but okay. She looking at the stars? Does she hear her sisters out there calling? I wonder if he's going to send Meteon out, too, or if uh, she's the one he's keeping around to remind him of what everyone else is doing.